This time we are going to learn how to configure our new TP-Link router. This explanation applies to this router and any other similar router. This one has router mode, access point mode, repeater mode, and WIPS mode. In this video, we are going to learn how to use router mode. So stay with us and let's get started. The first mode that this equipment offers us is the router mode. That is, manages and distributes the connections of the devices connected to it via cable or Wi-Fi, allowing them to access our internet provider's connection. To begin, the first thing we are going to do is connect the power adapter so that it turns on only. And we're going to factory reset it. To do this, we will press the reset button for 10 seconds. Wait for the lights to change. And when the lights turn on and then off, that the reset has already been done. We wait a few seconds until it stabilizes again. Next, we will connect the internet cable. The cable that comes to us from our internet provider. Connect it to the WAN port, the blue one. To enter the router and begin configuring it, we can do it. With a network cable, connecting one end to the network port on our computer. And the other end in any of the orange ports which are called LAN ports. And the other way is to connect via Wi-Fi. For this example, I'm going to do it connected to Wi-Fi. Now, being on the computer, we go to Wi-Fi networks. I'm going to identify which one corresponds to me or which one is my equipment. In this case, it will be the TP link underscore zero EA2. This zero E, A2 corresponds to the last four characters of the MAC address that the device has. Next. Great, it's already connected. If by chance your equipment label is damaged and you cannot see what this password is, or the password is not available because the equipment is too far away, they will have to connect the equipment using a network cable. Network cable. And so they can connect to the router without needing this password. Perfect, it says there that it gives us internet. Now let's customize it. Open your preferred internet browser. I open the new Ganjing browser. And here are two ways now to get into the router. The label tells us that we can enter with the address tplinkwifi.net. But we could also enter with the default address, which is 192.168.0.1. And it's exactly the same. I'm going to set the default password and username. In the case of TP-Link equipment, it is always admin, admin. It tells me to save the password. No, I'm not going to save it because I'm going to change it. Perfect, we have to change several things here. The first thing is that we are going to go where it says network. Let's see if our internet provider has already given us an IP. In this case, the one. Perfect. Now. We are going to go where it says wireless. And this is the name we are going to give to our network. I'm going to put two router to TP link. You can enter any password you like. This is just an example. In the region, you can put your country. However, I always recommend that you put the United States because this has to do with the number of channels that will be available. There are countries that have more channels than others. So I recommend you put the United States if you have any doubts regarding the issue of the channels. We leave the channel in automatic and I recommend the channel width. 20 megahertz. If you want more signal strength, more range. 40 megahertz. If you want more speed. If you have any doubts, leave it on automatic. Now say, save. In this case, you are proceeding to change the name of the Wi-Fi network. So it's going to be disconnected. So I have to look for her again. C2 router TP link. C. The name changed here. Connect. And since I haven't changed the default password, I have to put back the one on the label.
Next. Ready. I'm reconnecting now. To verify it, I'm going to hit F5 or refresh. I've got the connection back. Here you can also see the change of the Wi-Fi name. Let's continue on the wireless tab. Then we go to where it says wireless security. This is where the password is. This is the same number that is printed on the label underneath the equipment. You put whatever you want. I'm going to give you a simpler one, just as an example. It must be at least eight characters long. That's why I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to look for the save button. This will take several seconds and will disconnect me again because now it is another password. I'm going here. I'm going to click connect. And it tells me that the password is invalid because the computer has saved the password. Now we are going to put the new password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Connect. Done. Now it's connected again. To check it anyway, I can hit F5 or refresh. I've got the connection back. Now what else are we going to do here? In the wireless part, everything is correct. Let's leave it like that. Now, I recommend using this feature. Guest network. The guest network allows us to create an additional Wi-Fi network for our guests. So I invite you to activate it because we can limit the number of people who will connect. And we can also have a little more privacy that the people to whom we give the password, they won't be able to scan our network, see how many devices are connected and other things. They will not be able to enter the router either. It's a bit more limited, but your guests will still have internet access. So if the other calls it 2TP link router, I will name this one Plink Visitas. And in this option that says isolated guest network, I recommend putting it on activate the security password. Yes, we'll put a security password on it. The following two options can be set to automatic. As for the password, I entered Miss Visitus. Here we could schedule when we want this guest network to be available. In this case, I'm not going to place it. Save. And if I go here in the Wi Fi section, a new network has already appeared. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to connect. Miss Visitus. Connect. Ready. I now have internet through the guest network. I'm going to hit F5 here to refresh. And you see that it doesn't update. It just keeps processing. I'm going to close this. I'm going to try to get in again. It doesn't load. This is one of the properties it has. A guest cannot access your router to snoop around or make changes, even if they know the router and Wi-Fi passwords. It is a security measure. But it will have internet, which is what it needs. For example, I'm going to open a new tab and click on the logo here of Ganjing World. And perfect, see? There's the internet for your use. Perfect, right? Now let's go back to the Wi-Fi we created before. The main A2 router TP link. So that we can change the router configuration password that we didn't do before. I'm back here, I'm updating. See, now I can get in. And we go to where it says System Tool, Password. We have to look for the old password. In this case, it is admin and the old user. Still admin. The new user, I leave the same. I really don't change the user, although I could. I only change one password. You can do whatever you want. Change your user and password. I simply change the password. Save. Now yes, this password changed if I tell it to save in my browser history. Now I have to log in with the new password. I put admin. And here the browser suggests it to me. And, login in. Ready, I'm back in. Well, that's all, folks. 
I hope you liked it and that it was useful to you. Put it into practice. Give me a like. Subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in the next video.